Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here, and welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms, a World Betrayed playthrough as Yan Bai Hu the White Tiger. Last episode, we killed off that initial uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion army. We did take the Weapon Craftsman at Po Yang, as was our quest to do. Uh, you know, I kind of, thinking about it, this just occurred to me right now. Maybe we don't really want to hold on to this Weapon Craftsman. Uh, maybe we don't really need to keep it. Maybe we could just sell it over to Liu Yao or possibly even trade it to get the fishing port. What do you think about that? I think that is a good move if we can get that done. However, let's wait a turn or two because we did start to recruit some of these awesome White Tiger Raiders light boat infantry with a pretty good missile block chance of 60%. And they're going to take three turns to be fully replenished. So I'm going to wait like one more turn. And then we'll start moving back towards the lumber yard here. Where the Yellow Turban army may come north and attack us. I don't know. I don't know if they're here or here. But I imagine it's going to take them two turns to get wherever they're going to go. And we'll at least have a turn uh, to prepare for any Yellow Turbans coming our way. So let's go ahead and look at diplomacy really quick. Uh, we could get peace with the yellow turbans. How much did they like that? Mm. They actually kind of like it quite a bit. And so what if we were to get peace with them? Who else are they at war with? Yan Bai Hu, that's us. Li Jue, Han Empire, Yang Feng, Yang Yang. I mean, what if we were to make peace with them and then... Uh, sell ourselves out as mercenaries. Wouldn't that be kind of an interesting start? I wonder, who is this guy at war with? Sun Sua and Wu Jing. But, you know, we have non-aggression packs with uh, some people. Welcome. We're supporting his legitimacy, and he's giving us money uh, per turn here. Hmm. And do we still have the option to receive marriages? We could still receive marriage here. I'd really like to be able to do that, but... Ooh, a select faction. So how does this work? Wan Shu is the selected fact. Is he just not at war with anybody? He's at war with Lu Bu. Oh, maybe because we haven't discovered Lu Bu yet. Uh, what about Wu Jing? No. Somebody who's at war with Hei Yi. That's Han Empire. Are you at war with Hei Yi? No. Come on, Okay, we can't propose it because they are a vassal to another. Uh, but then we might be able to propose it here, right? Aha. So we could like go off and fight Hei Yi for them, plus 7.8, wow. And it lasts for 20 turns, I guess. It's interesting. Uh, Liu Yao, who could we... Offer this up with you. I've never played with this mechanic, so. No valid targets. Huh. No valid targets. Is there like a faster way? Like, I really wish that some of the unique mechanics would show up in this list because it would make my life so much easier trying to figure this out. What about with you? It's really tedious to go through like every faction like this. Uh, you're a vassal, so that won't work. You're at war with Lubu. Okay, so we would need to discover Lubu, I think, is the uh, hang up there. Yeah, plus nine. Can I get a marriage out of it, though? No. All right, so forget that. 
And we're going to wait one more turn. There's really not much I can do in diplomacy right now. And I think what I'm going to do is since we're going to have a couple of ranged units incoming soon, let's go ahead and upgrade our lumberyard. It's also going to give us a slightly better garrison. So we'll spend the 1840 on that. And our administrator should have the builder. Yes. We gave that to him last turn. So there, that just ate up a bunch of our money. And let's just end our turn. Next turn, we're going to think about moving into Xindu where the lumber yard is. And then we're going to maybe try to trade the weapon craftsman for the fishing port so we can get some more food back. Because uh, we are trading food currently and it's, it's hurting us a bit. Although now we have one extra food from upgrading this. Yippee. And no sign of yellow turbines yet. So I kind of feel like I could wait one more turn here. Yeah, I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm just going to go through two quick turns. I don't usually do this, but like burn through turns like this, especially early. But I don't feel overly pressured to move out from where we are. Hmm. Liu Yao requests your aid. Ooh. Financial support. Five turns. War declared. Yan, Bai Hu, and Sun Swa. While the North has been ravaged by war, the South has been a haven for refugees, exiles, and those seeking to avoid the heavy hand of the Imperial Court. But this peace is now broken. You receive an emissary from the local Han representative, Liu Yao. He is currently under attack by Wenshu's vassal, Sun Sua, and seeks your aid. Liu Yao is a stern figure who has shown little tolerance for your less than legal ways. If he is asking you for help, he must be desperate indeed. So, uh, let's think about this for a second. If we declare war on Sun Sua, Sun Sua is a vassal of Wen Shu, and he's got another vassal up there. So we're going to end up at war with Wen Shu. We're going to lose our money from Wen Shu. And all we're going to get is plus 3,000 in our treasury right now. However, if we bide our time, we could maybe turn on Liu Yao and get all of Poyang, which has a copper mine. Copper mines are very good. We're going to want copper later in our campaign so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to bide my time and then liu yao is going to get really mad at us he's not going to like this at all this child is no concern of yours let liu yao fight his own battles oh boy oh boy indeed now that's wu jing liu yao is right there what happens if we declare war on him? I don't think I'd want to do it until after I make peace with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. And there's really maybe not a lot of benefit to going to war or to maintaining our war with them right now. Unfortunately, we can't like negotiate anything else. We just, you know, we get peace and that's it. We can't ask them for a bunch of money or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Because we got an iron mine, a town, and a copper mine. And we could just kind of go burp, burp, burp pretty quickly, I think. Let's talk about trading territory. I will give you this weapon craftsman. And you will give me this fishing port. Doesn't like it. We have a non-aggression pact for a little while. So like in seven turns, you know, we could declare war. So in those seven turns, if we can kill off the yellow turbines, 
then that would kind of, I guess, be a good way to do it. Uh, we have 257 income per turn currently. This is the clay rat. Okay. Let's make a payment here. It'd be more than enough. So 328. And an ancillary. And then we get the... What is it? The fishing port. And he gets the weapon craftsman that's like completely worthless. We'll take that. Mission issued. Uh-oh. The call is issued. The answer is heard. Whilst you are a powerful warrior, you alone cannot hold back the tide. You must have other fighters prepared to battle for you and with you. To that end, you must drive up recruitment, rally the loyal and the able to the cause, and press them into service. Recruit and maintain a total of 13 units at the start of a new turn. Current is 11, and we'll get increased replenishment. And um, bonus experience. Mission aborted. Why is this aborted? I don't understand why this is aborted. So now I miss out on the uh, construction cost faction wide and construction time reduction because it's just randomly aborted. Why? Doesn't make sense to me why that was just randomly aborted. We got some characters passing through. Clay rat. Commander is secured. Yay. Uh, let's go ahead. I want to look at the bandit network. Because now that we got this whole province, it's 300% research rate. So it seems like it's a hundred plus 100% for every territory that you own. Because this used to be 200 and Poyang used to be 100, right? And now we're just at plus 300. And we're one turn away from having reduced upkeep for spear infantry. We got loot when raiding. Charge bonus for spear infantry. Melee damage for spear infantry. Income from banditry. Okay, so uh, we've now lost our... Recruitment in here. And I think I'm going to gun it down towards Jianan, however you pronounce that. I don't know where they are. There they are. And so what do we have currently? Plus two food, 10 reserve capacity. Plus one food, plus one food. Uh, if we spend the 920, we're gonna get a little bit more income from banditry, so let's do that. And then I don't think there's anything else we can do quite yet. Uh, we can start selling some military access. Uh, I wouldn't wanna sell it to Liu Yao but let's look at Sugong. I would like some extra money. Uh, but I'm also kind of tempted to just wait a little bit. Where is this guy? I think this guy's like way up north. Uh, it's zero. Positive zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just hold off and let's focus on getting like the rice paddy or the town. And I think, I think we're okay uh, with this yellow turban army right here because we do have the upgraded lumber yard. So it's going to have a bit of a garrison. Wang Lang offers us a trade agreement. He'll also give us money. So does that mean that we just lost trade with the other guy? Uh, let's negotiate. Uh, if we request food, a 
Okay, we'll take that. We'll just take it exactly how he offered it. So do I have one trade agreement now or two? Must be two. Faction developments, outcasts of Dragon Rock. Amongst the crags in undulating hills set into the very earth, there you will find them. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Okay, that's going to be our research. Lubu flees to Liu Bei. Defeated, Lubu seeks sanctuary in the court of Liu Bei. He has been granted amnesty for now, but we shall see how long this clemency lasts. Interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can um, build this up even further. Okay, I think uh, I want to build the fishing port up. I mean, it takes most of our money to do that, but it's going to get the garrison stronger. And that's really what I want right now is strong garrisons. Okay, he's still over there. Uh, how far does he, he has to go like all the way around like that? It really makes me nervous. Not like ambushing. Let's see. I don't think there's anybody in this town, so. Decent garrison. Now, since we're heading down into this area, I guess we want to go over this way. Reduced upkeep for spies, increased income from commerce and industry. Melee damage for melee infantry, melee evasion for melee infantry. Let's let's grab that. Ooh, eight turns. Never mind. That's four turns. And that also gives melee damage for melee infantry. And morale for spear infantry, which could be nice because some of our spear infantry has really piss poor morale, right? What's going on here? Ooh, an incense master. So did we just climb a level? I guess we did. So trade agreements provided. Assignment slots, administrators. Ooh, I can do assignments now. Have I always been able to do assignments and I've just totally been neglecting? I have totally been neglecting it. That's how brilliant I am. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, construction. Oh, man, I should have had her in there a long time ago. 30% income from industry. Enemy armies minus 10 loot. Okay. Commerce, silk, and spice. Uh, let's see here. We have peasantry and banditry. Uh, well, we should definitely throw her in here for supervising construction. Shame on me for not doing that sooner. Oh my gosh. And I think I'm just going to keep both of them available in case we need to raise an army quickly somewhere. Uh, but I can still pick somebody for this. Okay, it doesn't really seem to um, matter who you pick. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her since she is a spouse. Okay, they're all happy with each other. And I'll be able to put somebody else in as an administrator as soon as we capture this town. I have no idea if this is optimal uh, gameplay. <laughs> Liu Zhe is offering us a mercenary contract against Ma Tang. Um, is Ma Tang, like, isn't he really far away? We will receive payment from Liu Zhe. Where is Ma Tang? And who's offering it? Liu Zhe. So, like, I would assume that Ma Tang is still way up over there. 
So, I mean, this to me seems like an easy 1400 that we could use. What the hell? Let's do it. That could have been a massive mistake. Yeah, Mateng is way up there in Wudu. So that's like free money. I don't think he's going to come down and bother us. Oh, and then that, uh, now we know where Liu Zhe is. Uh, Cao Cao declared war on Zhang Ba. Oh, dear. Telephone. Uh, Wen Shu declared war on Hei Yi. Yan Bai Hu agreed mercenary contract from Lai Zhui. Fulfilling the contract. Yeah. Defeat one army or garrisons from the following faction. Ma Tang. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. They're really far away. Division in the capital. Though the tyrant is dead, control of the emperor is far from settled. Lai Zhe and Guo Si, two of Dong Zhao's former generals and erstwhile allies, are the ostensible regents. But two such ambitious men could not work together for long. Mutual suspicion has escalated to paranoia, then hostility, and gangs of their supporters skirmish in the streets and alleys of Chang'an. So there's division in the capital. There's some character ranks. Building is finished. Good. So our, our income is slowly recovering. I don't think we're going to complete that quest. Yan Bai Hu and Ma Tang are rivals. Huh. Okay. And so now we can see up here. Zhang Feng has Liu Yang. Lai Zhe has the trade port here. Okay, so Lai Zhui is over in Chang'an. Okay, I got it. Cool. We got some visibility up there. Don't know that it really helps. And it looks to me like we're going to have a battle over here. Uh, we've lost sight of the Rebellion Army. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to starve them out for a turn and just cause some uh, attrition. Oh no, it'll take one turn. Uh, da, 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 da. No, you know what? We're just going to get right into it. It's too risky to not just move in and take it right away. Oh, lots of towers, lots of towers. Uh, like, no matter how we try to charge in here, we're going to take a lot of damage from towers. So, uh, here's the center, right? Like, that's where we need to get. Poison shot. Neat. Uh, you know what? Let's um get these guys right here. And these spear units. I'm going to put them over here. Just so the AI will maybe deploy some stuff over there. And then, do we have loose formation in here anywhere? No, we don't. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to... Oh, look at that. They deployed, like, far back. Was not expecting that. Wow, that's clever. Okay, this guy's got the bigger bodyguards, so... We'll send him in first. Uh, well, I guess maybe we might as well just like walk up to here. Since the AI is all bottled up on this. Let's go get these towers uh, quickly here.
开战！弓箭手准备，跑起来！ Ah, uh, they're shooting our general over here. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Our men are spotted. Yeah, it's really not that surprising. Let's shoot the archers. Okay, let's go get the uh, capture point. Our guys are setting the uh, settlement on fire. It's a barricade. Yep. I'm just set up right in here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be bloody as hell. Come on, get the capture point. Uh, get up here. Okay, these guys are going to get demolished here in a moment. Okay, here we go. Let's hit the peasant warriors before they brace because I think they're anti-cav. Yeah, that was a pretty massive charge. Wow. And then we'll start working on these barricades here. Okay, let's charge down into the people's war band. Or no, you know what? Let's just pull back over to here. We're taking a lot of casualties here. Okay, they got some more folks coming to uh, charge into us. Okay, let's go get the archers and the people's war band. Peasant warriors. Okay, all this stuff is breaking. Our generals are awesome. Okay, everything in here is collapsing. These guys are still taking lots of damage from this tower, I think. Okay, everything in here is broken, and that's the settlement. Okay, good. Little bit costly, possibly, uh, but we should have good replenishment. And then we can set an administrator in here to uh, act as a garrison, and we can work on trying to capture that rice paddy, I think, or maybe heading over to the other lumber yard. I'm not sure if we want food or lumber yard. Yeah, that was like uh, 25% of our army close to it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just occupy. Mercenary contracts. Chance of additional rewards. Oh, dear. So there's like tiers to this. Resets with each new contract. Oh, increased morale faction-wide. That's kind of cool. And what would we pick for you? Scare? Melee evasion, own army. Poison arrows, own retinue.
gorilla deployment. Yeah, I think I want to go over and get gorilla deployment. So let's go ahead and get vengeful, which also enables scare. Very nifty. And we also have a skill point in here. Charge speed, mighty knockback. Night battles, three cover gain per turn when spying. Uh, what do we have? 10% range damage own army. Do we have anything that's for administered commandery? I don't really see anything. So I don't know if commanders in general are just not good as administrators or if it's this guy in particular. But let's go ahead and get the mighty knockback and charge speed. And then we need a administrator and administrator in here. Okay, so we have construction cost reduction. Uh, we're going to go pick, go ahead and pick Huang Long Luau and throw him in here. The settlement earns no money. Enemy armies and local commandery. Let's do bandit patrols with this guy in case they do come down this way. And then we got 2,400 and we can do some spending, some upgrading. Okay, so I'm I'm still not familiar with these entirely. So we got the replenishment there. Shenwei camp. Uh no, I clicked on this one. This why is it? Oh, I see. So I'd have to do it over here. So income from banditry and then percent income from banditry. Public order, preparatory camp. This is uh, extra food production. Let's, no, 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 let's, um, Let's do the food tents for public order. And what is our current public order? Minus 12. And that comes from lack of faction support. Where is my faction support? Where's my little flag? Minus 12 from faction support. Uh, but where's like wh where can I see my faction support? Ah, right here. So there you go. Whew, that kind of hurts. Uh, what if we were to come in here and minus fifteen satisfaction for all characters? Ooh. Oh, that is painful. Well, that's interesting. Ugh. So setting your taxes high is <laughs> really bad. Uh, I hope this doesn't affect my win shoe playthrough because my taxes are high in that campaign. Okay, let's look at building something in here. Do I have garrison buildings? Like this provides a little bit of a garrison, I guess. Income from banditry, 1,200. Extra food and income from peasantry. Uh, I want to make sure that we got extra garrison. So we're going to go ahead and build that, which uses most of our money. And I think that's all we can do right now. Yes, let's check diplomacy real quick. 
Lots of military access. Wu Jing, where are you? You're up there. Wu Jing and Yang Feng. So Yang Feng is way up top. But unless you're gonna pay me more money, I don't I don't care. And you're a Winshu's vassal. Yeah, you're not really offering anything for that either. And then there's a small town and a salt mine. Okay, I think that's all we can do right now. So we'll probably... Uh, we will cooperate with Liu Bao. That's like becoming a vassal. Plus 16. Is it worth Hei Yi? He has a vassal. Got good money, but uh, we're going to reject that. Can always do that later. I don't fully understand the difference between cooperation and vassals. I don't know why it's two separate options. They both on the surface appear exactly the same to me. Okay, lots of stuff there. Wen Shu declared war on Liu Chong. Li Xian vassalized Han Empire. Hei Yi signed a peace treaty with Han Empire. Yang Feng signed a peace treaty with Han Empire. Yale Turban. Rebellion signed a peace treaty with Han Empire. Ma Tang signed a peace treaty with Han Empire. The puppet Han Emperor captured Liu Ye Dong Separatists. Ooh, so they had a rebellion. Ah, ha, 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 ha. But I've still got this contract with uh, Liu Ye, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. This is... Is this still Liu Ye? No, now it's Li Xian. So where all is Liu Zhe? He's over here. Okay, so he lost the capital, I guess. We have a clay rat. Uh, some more characters moving through. I can't really hire anybody right now. Uh, food tents are done here, so we got plenty of food. And... I'll probably go ahead and build the garrison building next. Okay. Uh, we're going to end this one here. When we come back in the next episode, I think we're going to come over and take this rice patty. Yeah, we should be able to defend. Well, we kind of need to wait for this to... Gosh, I don't know. I have no idea what they're doing up here. <sighs> well, I feel like we need to come over and take the rice patty anyways. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. We can get there get there and back again in one turn like a hobbit. And um, we'll just see how things unfold when we come back in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know if you are with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. Lots of fun. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, you have yourself a good afternoon and take care.